Alright, so I'm going to give uh, you boys and girls a quick little overview of how to attach a quick release to your new wheel if you're a little bit concerned in relation to how do you do it. So number one, make sure that you do protect the face plate of your, of your wheel and also the back part of it as well. So at the moment it's sitting how it is, but it is there because of a little foam pad. So it can sit there nicely until you get your quick release on there. And to protect the front, just use some of the foam padding that actually comes with it as well. So. Now one way to do that is get your foam padding for the back, get rid of that, you don't need that anymore. Make sure you get it lined up properly so the paddles on the back don't interfere with it. Because if you just sit this down as it is, it's either going to mark your surface, work surface or your desk, whatever it is, and or it's going to damage some of the components there on the front there, so like some of the little buttons, joysticks or switches there as well. So a good little tip is to raise it up off the bench with your foam paddles like that. Sits on there, plenty of room. It's not gonna get sort of any interference with it either, so. Now your, the back of your plate here, if you've got the little sticker, take your sticker off, then you're gonna take your little end cap off in relation to your quick release or the back part of your, of your shaft there. Now if you do need to, have a look at your instructions and do follow the instructions depending on what, what wheel you have, so. These ones here are pretty clear in relation to what you've got to do. So I've had a look through I've had a look through these already, so we don't really need them. Now some things that we do need to do is make sure there's four little screws just here on the uh, on the back of the shaft. One of them was loose, so get a tiny little Allen key one that fits, make sure it fits, tighten it up, just make sure all of them are tight, because once that's that's on, you're probably not gonna have much access to those screws there, so just make sure that they're on before you put the quick release on. Now, another thing as well, other quick releases have used all of the one, two, three, four, five, six holes to then put them down into the wheel. This one here, you're only going to be able to use four, and that's because there are two little plastic nubbins or little grubbins that come up, and they go into each side of the quick release just there securing it but also you can't screw down onto it that's because of there's other bolts which go directly underneath them so therefore you won't be able to go the bolt on the side and the screw down to the top there because there's not enough gap there now first tip first tip make sure you put your quick release on the right way and i don't mean you know sinking it down and then you've got your your bolts there i mean does it go upside or downside okay so have a look and see in relation to it so you're going to have the notch, we'll see if this shows, you're going to have the notch, the top part just there, you have that up the top and the bottom part for the Fantech stuff has the little hole there where you have a little pin, that's going to be down the bottom. So the notch up the top there, but that goes on the top part of your wheel. So with this what I'll do is I'll change the view and we'll do a little top down view in relation to this. All right, so now that you can see, so the wheel, the top of it is facing you, and the top part of the quick release is also facing you as well. So we're gonna slide that on in relation to the shaft. Now, it does just sit quite nicely. You give it a slight little wiggle on either side, and make sure it is seated properly in there. Make sure there's no sort of issues in relation to anything underneath it, in case part of shipping, or anything that goes there. The bottom part of your, your quick release is just flat, nothing else on there either. Put that down. And again, double, triple check that it is seated the right way. So top of the wheel there, top of the quick release right there as well. Now the way to do this is there's only going to be four holes for this, like I said before. There's only going to be four holes, probably can't see it, for this wheel to be secured to the quick release. So get your bolt, get your washer, and it goes wheel, quick release, washer, then bolt, okay? So don't really tighten them down. Don't do one straight away. Put them all in, make sure they all sit first. And make sure you got them in the right holes as well. That's a big point. And then when you do want to go in, tighten them up, do them in an opposite direction. So one here, one there, up the top, down at the back, 
and just go with slight pressure in relation to the start of it. Now the first part, you can use the top part of your Allen key to get it down, not too hard, but just to get it further down as opposed to doing a lot of movements there as well. So once you start getting a little bit more than just finger tight, you gotta make sure everything's lined up again. Again, you only wanna be doing this once. Don't wanna try and have to undo it and do it up again, so. Now the included equipment that Fanatec give you, use that. If you've got something better, you can use that. But I would definitely recommend the stuff that Fanatec provide with the actual packaging as well. So do a little bit there. Now if you're unsure in relation to how bolts go, think about this, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Okay, so that's one way to actually do it in relation to, think about, you're looking at it from a clock face, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Or you can go clockwise, tightens, anti-clockwise, loosens. Don't over tighten them either. So you want to be able to tighten them. The book here, so the booklet here says that you want to do it to one Newton meters of strength. So this won't be able to tell you. So the included Allen key that they have will not tell you what one Newton meters of strength will be. So just have a gauge of that. Don't do it too tight. And once you've done, remove your little packaging and it's on. That's your quick release. Make sure the bolts are on tight, but do not over tighten them and then it's done. If you do experience any flex in the part where the wheel meets the quick release, double check that in relation to it. But apart from that, that's it. So hope that helped you. If you have any questions, chuck them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. still here. Well you either dozed off or you enjoyed the video this much that you're liking it to this point so thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video hit the like button and maybe even the subscribe button to catch uh, future videos coming to the channel. So thank you very much. The video is really going to end this time okay so bye bye.